How's it going, bros? Today we're gonna be watching more Gumball. And if you want us to watch Gumball on our deathbed, then get this video to 18,000 likes. Top of the morning to you, patrons. If you guys want us to watch more patron patrons, then head over to our Patreon that's spilling the milk to get the full video. Bro fist the subscribe button. Like I bro fisted. You m <laughs> Cut that out. Cut that <laughs> out. Do not leave that in. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> By Gumball 34, I'm gonna choke myself to death with gumballs. I'm gonna show a gumball machine down my fing. No! You're gonna wake up in a Saw S situation where there is a gumball machine and it is full of the number of gumballs as episodes of gumball you have watched and you have to eat them all. No. Jamie episode two. We're fing in for it today, boys. Let's pull it up, Jamie. This is a Naruto episode, guys. Be quiet. You don't wanna skip the filler with Naruto. Why are you here? I'll tell you why you're here. All the school's politically correct equipment is called the flu. What the f does that mean? I think he means all the school's PCs have caught a virus because- Oh, PC, the computers, dude. Oh my god, that completely flew over my head. I'm going to be honest with you. Now that you explained the joke to me, I actually- Laugh. Whenever we think that Gumball isn't funny, it's because the show is too smart for us. You were the last two in the library. I will give you one chance to fix it, or one of you will have to pay. Gumball has brain rotted us to not understand the comedy of it. There should just be like a joke explainer on streaming services where it's just a little guy in the corner and he explains every joke. Like a little clippy. Whenever you don't understand the joke, he pops out and he's like, Okay, so basically, when he said knock knock, he was at the door. I just realized that's like 99% of reaction channels. I wish the clippy guy would also insult you for not understanding the joke too. Hey, dumb fuck. I bet one of you needs to fess up to this before the end of today, or both of you get expelled. We're gonna have to partner up, go to the library, and find the real culprit together. NIE sounds like way more grown up in this season. Not because I'm desperate to have a friend. I think that was the longest sentence we've ever heard Anais say in the entire show. They let Anais cook in this episode. Definitely wasn't you who did it, right? Maybe you should check your mailbox and make sure you didn't click some weird attachment. Is the twist going to be that actually the principal did it because he was clicking on like sexy websites and he accidentally got the malware himself? He was trying to look at Miss Simeon's nudes and then he accidentally downloaded a Trojan horse. It said hot monkeys in your area. And the hot monkey was in his classroom all along. I'm way too techie to make that kind of noob mistake. Because you're ink noob. They said noob. Show me what you got. I'm going to kick your butt. She sounds a lot like Panini in this season. Am I crazy? Is it the Panini voice actress? It does sound like Panini. Can we just watch Chowder instead? It's definitely a virus. Look at the desktop. Mm -hmm. I'm in on the screen. Everything is literal in this episode. The computer has a virus. It's sick. Look at the desktop. <laughs> I'm beginning to reconsider our potential friendship. Wait, there's a camera. <gasps> Jamie has eyes? The culprit must have been caught on tape. Yes. I think Jamie's mean to Gumball because she has a crush on Gumball because he's so handsome. Well, in the flash forward in the end of the season, we actually see that Gumball gets married to Jamie. That would literally be the bad ending for. That's the genocide ending. Of <laughs> I'm not going to punch a TV. Jamie didn't pull it up. Joe Rogan in the top left just shocked expression when Jamie doesn't pull it up. Bobbert was there. We saw you coming out from under the desk. It was not me. <laughs> what was my boy Bobber doing under the desk, bro? He was touching that computer in ways it did not consent to. He <laughs> <laughs> shit everywhere. <laughs> but I was not the one who con 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 contaminated the computers. That was a wet shit. Like, that shit splattered. You don't get those every single day. I, I, I was practicing my kissing on one of the computer's USB ports. He was! He was flirting with the PCs and they got sick. <laughs> An English dictionary. <gasps> Give up or else? All right, all right, I'll tell you everything that happened. Dude, they have a cuphead boss as their librarian? Thumbnail? You're not getting in the thumbnail, Anais. I don't care how much of a pog face you do. Like, I'm not putting you in the thumbnail. They're watching cartoons on a pirate website. Unlike those people, we watch this show on Max. <gasps> Handwriting is the same handwriting as the note written in the dictionary. <laughs> and so the librarian was fucking pent up. Wow, what a surprise. They were looking at sexy bonsai cutting videos. <laughs> That's basically like undressing videos for them. Like, are trees in the winter like sexy to her then? Because they're all fucking naked? It's like the equivalent of humans in the summer. I wish I was a tree. I wish I was naked. Eating love. Oh. I can't believe you could lift that. Well, that's it. We're off the hook. It feels like the ant farm creator made an episode of Gumball. <laughs> Why do you keep referencing ant farm every video we make? Who the fuck? We got it. We got it. 
Uh, could you pass me the salt, please, Anais? But of course. This is a new face. This is a new new gumball face just dropped. We unlocked a new one, dude. Holy shit. I will not tolerate this kind of behavior in my house. I barely got to lick the icing. That's like the fucking pre-COVID shit where people were licking ice cream like absolute fucking disgusting savages, dude. That trend was good, bro. Shut the fuck up. You're weird, dude. That was just like the devious licks. I spent the whole afternoon by the lake listening to soft rock while crossfading. Crossfaded? Well, maybe you shouldn't have bedazzled the toilet seat. <laughs> The day bedazzle Anais's booty cheeks? This is why you don't give your daughter the bedazzling gun, bro. They do crazy shit. What I meant by lay it all out on the table was the game! Oh, they're playing D&D. &D. Oh, fuck. Just roll with it, episode two. Oh my god, look at Nicole. Nicole looks fucking beautiful. Do you want to be rich? How rich we talking? Darwin looks like how the average person with blue eyes stares at you. He's got the light skin stare. But the road to the dungeon and the treasure is treacherous, but not as treacherous as... They just tricked us into watching a D&D campaign. Yeah, this is Critical Role animated. Nicole, what do you do? Testosterona sits the... Testosterona. I like testosterona. All right, whatever. He swallows you. <laughs> Gumball and Darwin are, are me and Eden playing D&D. &D. <laughs> 17 plus 2 intelligence bonus, 19. Finally, someone's getting into the game and playing it properly. He's like the over-obsessive dungeon master who doesn't let you fuck around. Like, fuck you. Give me that. Let go of it. This is boring. I'm watching a shitty D&D &D campaign. How is this worse than the episode with Jamie in it? The object of your quest lies before you. It's a trap. That was the most Caucasian line in all of Gumball. We watched the most Caucasian episode. I don't fuck with this mumble rappers that Playboy Carti. I don't listen to mumble rap. I'd rather listen to Dream. <laughs> we decided to change tactics and use our greatest weapon. Blame. This shit's directed like the One Piece live action, bro. Keeps just like, zooming in on one individual face. She's wearing hairy boots. That's the closest. Nothing. No comment. That was the closest look we've ever seen. Monster rears up ready to strike. What do you say to that? Snack break? <laughs> Snack break. What? They already had a bowl of Cheetos and then they order McDonald's, bro. Playing D&D, &D, it makes you gain weight because it makes you hungry. That's why you have to <laughs> LARP because LARPing is good exercise. It's like a natural edible. <laughs> natural edible. I feel like being high is the only way I could possibly enjoy playing D&D &D anyways. <laughs> I now want to play D&D less. And this corn is... Uh, I can't think of anything. What is this episode? How to be annoying? One last time. <laughs> they pulled themselves through their ass. This is like the 20th time they've done that. Did someone say alternative medicine? Do not give these kids shrooms. Please give Gumball shrooms. Start them young. I still have nothing to say to him. They impaled them with crystal meth pipes. Are they gonna kiss each other? Are they gonna tongue kiss? <laughs> Literally no comment. Very disgusting. They went to a back alley doctor? Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Role playing. I'm Akane Ryuku, a shy anime kawaii girl. What? Are they catfishing? Wait, are they pretending to be like Discord e couple right now? Chat with me now and win dollars, dollars, dollars. They're, they're trying to scam each other. <laughs> Thumbnail! Oh my god! Why does he look like that? Get it away from me! Ah! We watched the most high and text episode of Gumball. Maybe what we really need is. Please don't say it. A storyline? This is literally a fucking Family Guy episode. It has no plot. Exactly. No, it's a Family Guy episode because they randomly break down into song when you least fucking expect it. And now we're out of sync. It's a beautiful performance. Darwin's trapped in a hot car. Get him out of there, man. Yes, he'd have walked past this and heard the music, but he wouldn't- He's got like a spiritual connection with Darwin. He's his bestie. Yo. Of course, an abandoned shoe. That would have made him think of souls and, and Swiss cheese is full of holes. And what else has holes in it? This plot line. The duck. Oh my God. You found me. How to save a life. What am I thinking right now? You're thinking, please remove your knee from my crotch. If they kiss at the end, I'm not saying they have to. I'm not putting, I'm not like. Seems like you're pushing it on them. No, but really, please move it. I wish it was a Simeon X Mrs. Jacobs episode. And I wish that it was a really sexy, hot, 
scene where they fuck for 10 minutes straight. So what do I say? You say nothing. A guy should be silent. A lone wolf. Sigma. He's getting bad advice about dating. This is so realistic. When it comes to dating advice, like, you gotta cite your sources, bro. And to be honest, talk to a woman. That's the way he feels. And maybe I should take some time out of this relationship. Oh my god. Is that even allowed in the workplace? Yeah. And I wish he'd just soften up a little. Your witch is marking ass. Were they just dumpster diving outside of their fucking high school? I think our wishes were granted. She's been turned into a neck pillow. Are they gaslighting their principal? It's all a misunderstanding, Jack, okay? It's no one's fault in this situation. Except for Gumball. It's always Gumball's fault, actually. Huh? He's having problems saying I love you. Does he have commitment issues? Does he have, like, a dark history of abuse in prior relationships i just feel like there are probably deeper problems that we should be prying into i mean it's presumably just like his parents never said that they loved him ever because they didn't dude that's like one of those ugly ass dogs with all the black shit around their eyes dude i hate those dogs so you want to race huh winner gets the girl the girl is a cushion I'll take what I can get. I'll take what I can get. He's down for the cushion. Bro, this is a GTA 5 mission right now. She is the woman I love. From now on, I'm going to be more open about my feelings. I'll never let her out of my sight. He said, I'll never let him out of my sight again. And then he left the, her out of the sight. So basically, guys, that was a funny moment where they say one thing, but then... You know what? The other thing happens. This is the crazy joke where I explain the joke and then Eden double explains the joke. We need you to triple it up, Cor. We need you to triple it up. That was a funny moment where I already forgot what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you've got your own journey now. Lucy! Why does she actually look kind of cute there, though? I think this show has melted your brain, Eden. <laughs> Don't talk to me until I've had my coffee. Nicole looks like an onion, an even uglier onion. Where did Nicole get this fucking suit? Don't men wear those? Oh, a woman in the workplace? You're gonna really piss off Jack's boy right now. You handed me the briefcase yourself. Yes, but from the inside. Oh, wait, your briefcase. She has that perfect V body shape that like all men are looking for. Here, she has the margarita glass figure over here, bro. I'm trying to take a sip. Thumbnail, thumbnail. There's elves on tricycles and fountains of molasses. Unless it's a this is just like Willy Wonka though, because it's gonna be lots of slave labor, lots of migrant underpaid workers. Ban blinking? That's impossible. Then I suggest we reduce it by 75%. Why is Peppa Pig in the show? Would you fuck the top of the pig? Well, because the original ones you were supposed to smash, and I would smash. Dude, when I was a kid and I used to have a piggy bank, I would put the money in, but then I, I would always just take it out to count it, so it was fucking pointless. We're shutting this place down. Wait, what? You're shutting this place down? No, no, no. Is that a Homer Simpson reference? Is that a Le Epic Simpsons reference? There's not much left of the factory you can save. Children in the workplace, what is this? Every other factory I own! Whoa, base joke. I love child labor jokes. Can we 2x speed this editor? Just 2x speed him going up to press the button because I ain't got all day, bro. I ain't got all day, dude. This is my Amazon delivery driver making it to the front door. Darwin, where are you? There you are. Ah! My makeup's running. Oh my god. The cleavage is his head. He pulls it off. He pulls it off. It all started at swim club. <gasps> oh, that's awesome. Abraka Daniel. <gasps> you mean Gumball can't swim? I don't think swim club is for you. <laughs> oh my god. Why can we see his ribs and everything? Clock the filter first. <laughs> oh my god. She's dying. That's fucking horrifying. Wait. Where's our clothes? <gasps> They've been stolen! Oh, this is all I got. It's the most boring explanation on why they're doing a James Bond thing. Exit. It seems like the animators were asking for help. The way, like, so many workers are mistreated, it feels like they're low-key crying for help. Oh, and Watterson. Yes, sir? Close the door on the way out. Aren't yes, both of them Watterson, though? Shouldn't he be, like, I making know. it more specific? Does Darwin not count as a Watterson now? He probably counts as a Kardashian now, if we're being honest with, like, the way he's dressed right now. Bobbert! Yes! I was trying to be mysterious. But Bobbert's the only robot we know! Yes! All right! Bobbert is not the only robot you know. What about Neptur? They forgot about Neptur, dude. And remember, that's the whole joke about Neptur. Also, wrong show, but, you know, whatever. Fuck. <laughs> What about, uh, Baymax? Don't they have Baymax? <laughs> that actually sounded like an awesome breakcore song was about to start. Can someone sample that, please? Gumball! 
It has no use. Nobody can pay you. That's Bobber, right? It's Hitler. It's obviously Hitler. I didn't see that coming. Dude, this literally looks like the fucking Gravity Falls villain. What's his name again? Billiam. I'm pretty sure the villain of Gravity Falls is not some motherfucker named Billiam. Is a... <laughs> You're too late. It's too late to apologize. It's, it's too, too late. late. But Robot Child, I'm very disappointed in you. Detention for all three of you. He called him Robot Child. Isn't that a little fucked up? Yeah, that's like saying Black Child. Like, that's really fucked up. You know the best thing about our friends uploading their selfies? It means I can show to pop them to me. Show to pop them. <laughs> What's up, Tobias? This is just what we used to do, though. We just made, like, fucked up edits of pictures of each other, basically. Dude, they should make a g gumball episode where they get into vaping and they get, like, the elf bars and they start, like, hitting it, like, really hard. Like, I could see that being a thing with the new season that's coming out. What if they're in, like, high school? and the new max season that's coming out you can't go into the bathroom and there's not a vaping episode oh i can never find the at this is how every mom types it's fucking brutal wait so you keep everyone's email address in there and then type it into the computer yeah easy peasy old people should die this looks like one of our editors working on one of our Barbie reactions right now. That This is just what that looks like. Who are you sending this to? Oh, making maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke, though. You're lucky you two are my bays. What? Bays? This is out of context gumball moment. A out of context accidental this <laughs> moment number 7,342. The gumball this compilation would be like two hours long. Literally. Four plus? <laughs> I'm not perfect, but at least I'm not. There's a minion meme! Minion! Minion! I love yes! Ah, uh, but. <laughs> this episode is not funny. This generally is like a top 15 worst episode of Gumball. Chat, should this be the last Gumball episode we ever make? Chat, be honest. Should we just wrap it up? We didn't finish every episode, but we made it pretty damn close. There's just no good episodes left. I can't stop. That's like fucking editing for two years and not me. Ew. <laughs> when we finish the show? What are you talking about? I might. I might too. I might too. Stupidity is hashtag trending. <sighs> There's no avoiding it, Darwin. If we were any more done, we'd be a Harlem Shake meme. Do the Harlem Shake! They said Harlem Shake. Go back. We have to go back. Don't go back, please. I'll make this last any longer than it needs to. Go back. Uh, do the Harlem Shake. <laughs> <laughs> Get this video to 18,000 likes. Alejandro Paredes, Atomic Leon, Bento, Kane Rivers, Kamalu, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Daryl Herb, Diane Stalk, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Granado, Gub Stargazer, Gummy Brain Rot, Gunny Snow Unison, Helio, I Pigged Brett Hand, Isaiah Alford, Kamui, Catherine Wright, Night VDB, Leaf, Lilac Moon, Modestry, Master Nate, Matthew Byers, Mowry, Solomon Graver, Native, Nick, Obama Gaming, Omega Waffles, Pitchin Witch, Him is Best Boy, Rain, Steven Sanchez, Sunny D, Tyrant Sills, Toast, Ultimate Parson, Bell Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Line.